Welcome back to the railroad, everyone. So this is going to be part two of the overpass scene. And first thing I need to do is I need to prime the sculpt mold uh, in the earth brown. Um, so what I will do is paint both sides of this uh, with the first coat. And then uh, once that's dry, that's when I'll come back with a second coat and start doing the ground cover. And uh, while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and paint my road. Uh, so I have the lower and upper. And so all I do is just have a, uh, a just piece of styrene. And I'll go through and paint this accordingly. And then uh, when it comes time to actually uh, attack it in place, I just use the same earth brown paint uh, that grabs that and I put a couple weights on it and uh, that does that so uh, let me go ahead and get started so I have uh, completed the painting of the road uh, and so what I use is uh, this is rust-oleum uh, it's a hand uh, well, it's supposed to uh, simulate a uh, hammered look um, for it's you know, just a rattle can spray paint. Um, so I use that and you end up getting the styrene and ends up getting a texture to it. And the other part that I like about it is it's not a even black. Um, so out of the can, you get a little bit of uh, color variation. So um, it gives it a little bit of a, a weathered look along with the texture. And then after so I usually do uh, two coats of the of the spray paint, and then I use um, just the uh, road decals, uh, both yellow and white, depending on the application. And then this asphalt is going to have uh, some significant significant uh, weather weathering to it. So what I've started is the uh, cracking of the asphalt and so once I have that in place um, I'll come back over this with uh, white in the airbrush and start lightening this whole whole thing up and what that'll also do is pull some of this the, uh, the darker black which is the crack marks uh, out so um, all I do is just get a little bit of uh, this is the uh, the uh, Vallejo uh, wash. This sticker one is dark gray, and just put a little bit of that on a brush and pick a spot and uh, just kind of do something like this um, to create a. Uh, Something looks like a crack in the asphalt. I'll do uh, different widths uh, and just different uh, colors as far as the uh, the wash. All right, so I'm gonna keep doing that and as. Uh, I said the, the next step will be uh, the airbrush, so uh, we'll check back in after that. So I have the uh, road all weathered, and now I'm going to uh, put down another coat of the earth brown paint, uh, which I will use to uh, tack the roadway down, put some weights on that overnight so that sets. And then while I'm doing that, I'll do the uh, just the ground cover uh, through this whole area as well.
So I have tacked down the uh, roadway and I have uh, just using paint cans and soup cans, things like that as weights uh, for the road. And then I went ahead and did all of the ground cover, uh, just the base coat as well. So uh, this is gonna go ahead and dry overnight and uh, we'll start with the next part. So I have all the ground cover in place, uh, roads tacked down. Uh, back here, don't have the uh, ballast on the main line. I'll do that when I work on the paper plant scene. So this through here will just be from this point forward. Um, and as we go over here, so again, ground cover's all in place. Uh, roadway's good. Um, happy with how this is supposed to be new asphalt. Very happy with how the new asphalt turned out. The uh, weathered asphalt, it's uh, a little too white in a couple areas, like here, which I'll go through and brush that down, uh, get that to blend in a little bit more. And again, uh, just a ground cover over in this area. So what I'm gonna do now is start putting some shrubs and overgrowth. Um, I don't think I really have any spots that are gonna have trees in this in this small scene, but I'll see, uh, we'll see if anything kind of fits. And then over here, uh, with the different colors of asphalt in this lane, uh, this is actually gonna be my paving scene, uh, which I'll be doing later, but I went ahead and got the asphalt uh, uh, done. So this right here is going to be the brand new asphalt. This section right here is the milled asphalt. And then of course here you go into the, um, the existing uh, aged asphalt. But um, that'll be in another video as I do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the uh, ground cover. All right, so I have completed uh, this scene uh, the only thing that I have left to do is the paving that'll be done in this area. It's going to be a paving scene, uh, but that'll be another video. So let me go through as far as what I have. Um, so this is all done. And roadway. So up here, got guardrails on both sides. Uh, just got some shrubs and overgrowth. And again, the road comes over here, got some more guardrails in the back. So, have the fascia painted. does that and uh, get a couple shots of some trains running by now. enjoyed this video please consider subscribing uh, be sure to hit the bell uh, where you'll get notifications whenever I post new videos uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it also uh, be sure to leave a comment I uh, try to respond to everyone's comments and uh, again thank you for watching